this is ramalinga prasad kuppa welcome to my channel pharma world today's topic is risk assessment tools fault tree analysis fta in this series we will discuss about the fta tool fta tool is very useful for investigation of market complaints and deviations this is useful to evaluate how multiple factors affect an issue let us understand this concept in this video fta tells on what are potential causes for a failure this tool evaluates the causes from top to bottom the top being the final failure and it breaks down to several causes for leading to the failure one will or the other and goes like a tree by design this is like a failure occurred because of the cause in the next down level fta tells how the failure happened through study of several possible causes for evaluation the failure is placed on the top of the fta tree and evaluated considering the causes scientifically one after the other with a basic question why for example there was a car accident on a dark night travel on a highway the car hit an electrical pole and tumbled upside down now let us draw an fta evaluation chart placing the car accident on the top of the tree basic reasons could be one the car was going at over speed two there was poor visibility on the road three the driver may be inexperienced for a long night drive four there could be a brake failure etc to name a few so capture these reasons in the next level of the branches of the fta tree let us evaluate the reasons for the first cause of over speed why was the car at over speed the driver wanted to reach the destination early did he start late at the start for second cause of poor visibility were the headlights not glowing as required were there street lights on the road etc for the third cause of driver's capability was he not adequately trained on a long night drive the fourth cause failure of brakes could lead to poor maintenance of the car so this type of evaluation goes on till you get possible reasons for accident this evaluation helps to recommend a kappa to address all the above deficiencies fta works in the opposite direction of fmea in fmea the logic goes how identified cause or combination of causes can lead to a failure fmea evaluation is opposite to fta let us consider the same car accident case as above if an inexperienced driver drives the car at over speed under poor visibility and equipment failure could lead to an accident see how easy to remember the difference between the fta tool and the fmea tool fta is a retrospective evaluation whereas fmea is upfront prospective evaluation so it should be understood that fta is a post mortem type of analysis whereas fmea is upfront evaluation i hope that this point is clear you have to remember this let us see the objective of fta the tools helps to identify the causes or combination of causes for the failure the objective of the fta tool is that it helps to identify the causes for failure the cause could be a single cause or a combination of several causes connected to each other fta relies on experts process understanding to identify the scientific causes for failure 
obviously process knowledge and product knowledge are must for the expert to evaluate the causes for failure no external reasoning is accepted it should be scientific always external means a generic statement or a reasoning which is not scientific fta is a deductive method from top to the next down levels of analysis aimed at pinpointing the causes or combination of causes that can lead to the failure the deductive reasoning starts from a general statement to reach logical conclusions that means the failure statement breaks down to the logical conclusions in the same above car accident case the general statement is evaluated to a scientific reasons for the failure let us see some examples see this typical example the failure is presence of a wooden piece in the product bag was found at the customer's end so in fta the failure is placed on the top of the tree now let us evaluate the reasons logically the wooden piece contamination could have come from the production shop floor or from the vendor who supplies the material this is the next branch down in the fta tree it is further breaking down into other potential causes in the next level if there are wooden scoops or pellets used in the manufacturing and storage there is a potential that the wooden pieces could have entered into the container same is the case with the vendor there is yet another cause for the wooden piece contamination the transportation trucks potential contamination is possible if the loading surface of the truck is rough and damaged the wooden pieces could pierce into the containers the possibility of piercing into the containers is more when the final market package is in hdp bags and the bags are dragged across the rough surface of the transportation truck while loading the evaluation also focuses that there were no metallic pellets or scoops used in the manufacturing to establish the additional supportive evidence when once the fta provides you the scientific and logical conclusions kappa will be easier and effective let us see another example the batch failed in related substances test for impurity a so place the failure on the top of the tree in the next level investigate the production process and input materials let us see what kind of data we get while reviewing the batch production record it was found that the temperature of the reaction mass shot up significantly this could be a hypothesis that this temperature shoot up is responsible for increase in impurity a this hypothesis is further strengthened by the fact that the stage 1 input material has impurity a which is sensitive to high temperatures further evaluation by the next stage reveals that there was a failure of heating system the input steam could not be controlled leading to rise in temperature significantly making the product fail in impurity a on further evaluation in the next level it was found that the preventive maintenance of the boiler was not carried out why was it not done was evaluated in the next level there was no specific requirement in the sop to carry out the preventive maintenance for the heat generation system the boiler so the fta identifies two major failure causes one is the temperature sensitive input material in stage 1 and the other is the 
poorly maintained heating system. This is a simple example. So any failure should be addressed this way in elaborate way till you get the answers for each question why. But remember that any failure should be addressed through OOS investigation to negate the laboratory error in stage 2 of the OOS investigation and production activities all the above aspects have to be evaluated. Let us see another example. Final product yield was less by 10 kilos. This is a case of less yield in the product output. This can happen from a cause anywhere in the process. Let us examine. The product output was 10 kilos less than the standard. The next level of investigation could include a check on quality of input materials and process related. Check whether or not all the inputs were tested and approved by QC. If answer is no, continue the FTA type investigation with a different branch with this aspect on the top of the tree. If yes, go to the next stage of dotted line to the next level. Check the status of the material charges. Were they as per the BPR? If yes, go to the process review. If the reaction completion is established by in-process test, go to the next stage. Here, it is established that the reaction was complete and there was no possibility of loss of yield at this stage. Possible loss may be in the next level of investigation. Here, was there any physical loss of the material? If the answer is yes, go down further. Since it was a physical loss, the centrifuge bag and its filter bag should be the part of the investigation for potential causes. It is necessary to check if there were damages to the bag. If there were damages, the investigation should further subdivide into frequency of replacing the centrifuge bag to avoid such recurrences. If the answer to the damage of the filter bag is yes, go to the next stage. If the material had passed out into the mother liquor or the filtrate, the filtrate should be the part of the investigation. The mother liquor or filtrate may be evaluated for the presence of the product. Product mass balance may be established here. That means it should be checked whether or not the material present in the filtrate accounts to the last 10 kilos. Based on the investigation outcome, kappa has to be recommended to recover the loss. See the depth of investigation here. Let us see other important points to note. There should be a clear reference in the market complaint procedure and deviation handling procedure on requirements to use FTA tool to establish the root cause. QRM tools guideline ICHQ9 prescribes that FTA can be used to investigate complaints or deviations in order to fully understand their root cause and to ensure that the intended improvements will fully resolve the issue and not lead to other issues. That is, solve one problem yet cause a different problem. So it is important that the SOP dealing with market complaints and deviation handling should have a reference to FTA tool for investigation. If it is not a part of your SOP, revise accordingly. The investigation should continue till there is no question why. This is important. The investigation should continue till there are no further questions why was it failed. The tree may be made with elaborate branches if there is a requirement to investigate into other peripheral issues. The FTA tree may be elaborate. If the complexity of the investigation is more, divide the tree into separate trees for ease of handling. 
a separate FDA tree may also be made for any specific activity where there may be too many potential causes for failure. For any specific investigation, a separate FDA tree may be useful. FTA tool may be drawn vertically or horizontally. Generally, the FTA tool is drawn vertically from top to bottom, placing the final failure on the top of the tree. If it is made horizontally, the final event will be on the left side and the branches expand horizontally from left to right. Success tree analysis, STA may be made and evaluated as a complement to FTA. As a complement, success tree analysis may be drawn with the same kind of scientific inputs for achieving success. Quantitative FTA, similar to FMEA, can also be done, taking into consideration the severity, the probability, and the detectability. FTA tool can be evaluated quantitatively also, as in FMEA, taking into consideration the severity, the probability, and detectability in a similar way. I hope that the examples of FTA are useful for practicing live investigations of any deviations or any market complaints. Unless the investigation is done in a scientific way, the results of investigation will not be effective. These examples are simple and relevant to understand. Read IEC 61025 guideline also. It provides a wide range of content. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.